Right, folks? We're about ready to go. It's that time. 2015 CKFM Star Search. How's everybody doing this afternoon? We having fun in Didsbury? Excellent. Welcome back to our uh, 2015 Didsbury Art, Travel, and Trade Expo. So glad to be back here again on the Tennis Talent Stage. And thank you to Tennis Concrete for uh, being a part of this and sponsoring this every single year. Uh, for those who don't know me, I'm Corey Noel, uh, Program Director for 96.5 CKFM and Olds and Rock 104. And the Afternoon Drive guy on uh, CKFM as well. Uh, so glad to be up here doing this every single year. It's my favorite thing that we do. We hunt out new talent, and every single year we found some incredible talent. Started back in 2006 with a guy from Sundry uh, named Cal Werzak. Uh, in 2007, Cole Malone out of, Sun out of uh, Innisfail, Ryan Sandy, Mandy Sweet, Bobby Ketting from here in Didsbury. Uh, we had Ty Christian Wilson from Bashaw, Tanya Ryan, Brighton Baines, and then last year's winner, Corey Norman, uh, who you just saw. And this year we've got three great artists that are going to be vying for an opportunity to go to Evergreen. Green Studios in Calgary, work with Mark Troyer, a Canadian Country Music Association nominated uh, producer of the year and a studio of the year. They get to go and record their song and then have it played on CKFM. So we've got three artists that are going to be up here. Uh, Kevin Frey from Stony Plain, Jason Ross from Innisfail, and uh, the fellow who's going to come up here and uh, get all tuned up and perform three songs for you. To start things off, it's Steve Newsom. A great introduction to myself. In 42 seconds. <laughs> 42 seconds, that's a long time. Uh, I'm Steve News. I'm a rural Alberta cowboy, uh, born and raised in the area, and we get up and play some country music. We like to keep everybody dancing, and have a good time. All my songs are songs from my history, songs of my past, songs of some ideas that I've got, and uh, we'll just have a good time. So there's a lot of personal influence in your songs? Largely, yes. Yeah, the, uh, they range from all everywhere I do come around and you come across, uh, you know, going down the highway, you see something that jogs a memory and a lot of it is just that and I'd like to, I'm not alone in half of my memory, so <laughs> the, uh, there's lots of people that can relate to those songs as they go along. Hello, thanks for everybody for coming out. It's been great there having the opportunity to play for everybody here with Corey and the whole radio station deal going on. It's been a great opportunity. I'm going to start the song out here with uh, some George Strait. It's called The Fireman. They call me The Fireman. Oh, that's my name. Making my rounds all over town, putting out old flames. Hell, everybody like to have a wood I've got. I can cool them down in this moment. Hot on the Fireman, well, that's my name. And last night they had a bad one a mile or two down the road. Yeah, but he walked out and left this woman burning out of control. And now they didn't wore off and 24 on when they get too hot. They just give me a call. I'm the Fireman, well, that's my name. They call me the fireman, well that's my name Making my rounds all over town, putting out old flames Hell, everybody like to have a wood I've got I can cool them down and they're smoldering hot I'm the fireman, well that's my name I've got a fire engine red, one ton automobile In a minute or less I can be dressed fit to kill I work 24 on 24 off when they get too hot They just give me a call, I'm the fireman Well, that's my name They call me the fireman Well, that's my name Making my rounds all over town, putting out old flames. Hell, everybody like to have a wood I've got. I can cool them down and they're smoldering hot. I'm the fireman. Well, that's my name. They call me the fireman. Well, that's my name. Thank you. Thank you. I enjoy the singing and songwriting. Uh, 
the, the songwriting is definitely far more important. Getting across the point, across with the words, and making a you know just having a, an image come across to somebody and having somebody feel a song that you've written and have it connect with them is just super. And everybody has their own interpretation of what a song will take. I've had people come around and say that this song influenced them with their wife or their husband and others will say you know this is what you know a loss of a child and and it's just amazes that everybody has their own perceptions and interpretations of what a song will really take care of so the next one is been called my anti-bullying song even though i didn't have much problems with it but i'm still uh, a little taller than most people and it doesn't seem like a obvious choice for a guy to get bullied but there's always somebody littler right this one's called Not Looking for a Fight. It never seems to ever change Just keeping to myself Minding my own business I ain't looking for a fight It's not like I said to you I really don't have a clue You seem to think I'm a threat to you But I'll say this to you Well I stand my ground Don't cross that line There is no turning back What well, part of what I'm saying to you Don't you seem to understand I ain't looking for a fight Oh, you can sink it in I'm getting real tired of you Mind your own damn business I ain't looking for a fight Like I said before Well, I'll stand my ground Don't cross that line There is no turning back What part of what I'm saying to you Don't you seem to understand I ain't looking for a fight I ain't looking for a fight I ain't looking for a fight Thank you. Thank you. Hi, ah, influences. They go all the way back from Waylon Jennings to George Strait. Alan Jackson, Merle Haggard, all the classics, and then right up to the new ones, the you know the Zach Brown band and, and whoever else is out there. Lost family. <laughs> I'm probably taking up half of the arena tonight. Yeah, so they're really good supporters. Oh, a great support. Nothing but huge support. You know, between my uh, my folks and and my wife, and uh, everybody's been super super supportive. So your biggest wish for everybody? Oh. Happiness and peace. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy yourselves. Have a good time. Thank you very much. Excellent. Thank you. Last song I'm going to do for you here is the one that I'd written up. Kind of about the unforbidden love, I guess you call it, you see on these vampire shows and all these other things that my wife watches. And in honesty, it was not written about my wife, so the song's called Bad Combination. Are like a match in gasoline One love, one touch And two hearts get lost in love You and me are just a bad combination It's not you, it's not me We are two opposites to the extreme No right, no wrong There is no in you and me are just a bad combination We try each time But it all ends up a bust Just one word 
says it all strike a match that's fired up you and me are just a bad combination it's not you it's not me we are two opposites to the extreme no right no wrong there is no in between you and me are just a bad combination well, I can't stay away You got what I keep looking for You and me are just a bad combination It's not you, it's not me We are two opposites to the extreme No right, no wrong There is no in between You and me are just a You and me you and me are just a bad combination It's not you, it's not me We are two opposites to the extreme No right, no wrong There is no in between You and me are just a You and me are just a just a bad combination Thank you All right, keep it going everybody for Steve right, Newsom Contestant number one tonight. We're, uh, we're going to have three contestants that are going to perform for you. Uh, Kevin's going to come up here and get sound checked really quick, and then we'll uh, tell you a little bit uh, more about him. But again, we've got three contestants that are going to come up, uh, perform for the uh, judges' votes, and then someone is going to be off to Evergreen Studios in Calgary to record their song for airplay on CKFM. Contestant one down. We'll have number two in a moment. <laughs> hey, this is Kevin Fry. I'm a bit of a jack of all trades. I play guitar, sing, draw, artist, uh, dabble in uh, extras as a, in a few TV shows and movies. Uh, traveled a bit and done all kinds of things and just want to share and have fun. <laughs> Who's your biggest influence? Uh, these days I'd say right now I'm, I'm really hooked on Tom Wilson of uh, Blackie and the Rodeo Kings and his other project, Lee Harvey Osman. And still go back to the old Neil Young and stuff like that so not so much country but <laughs> a little more folky and or that kind of stuff so <laughs> oh a great big hello to everybody back home in Stony Plain uh, friends that have I've known for years and that are all over the place I hope to make you proud and see what we can do today <laughs> Thanks for time, I think. Awesome. All right. Well, we had one contestant there. Steve Newsom was from uh, Stony Plain, made the three-hour-ish drive down here. And uh, we found out at uh, the qualifying round at the Legion a couple of weeks ago, we had two contestants from Stony Plain. They didn't know it. Basically, neighbors didn't realize that they were both in this competition. So did you end up carpooling or no? No. They didn't carpool down. They were talking about carpooling for this, but it uh, didn't really work out. Uh, so, yes, another contestant all the way from Stony Plain. He was actually in our Rock 104 star search, too, uh, last fall, I think, and then uh, told him, come back for the country star search, and he was fantastic at the qualifying night at the Legion. Uh, make some love for him, uh, folks. Put your hands together and uh, show him some love. Mr. Kevin Frey. <laughs> Thank you all. Uh, glad to see you all here. Thanks to Steve. That was awesome. <laughs> Here I am again a Wrong side of the door I Always looking in I never know the score What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Did I say the wrong thing? Or am I just that guy? 
is king in a neon tie. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? I look through the glass I can't believe what I see A trailer trash high class Or maybe it's not for me What did I do? What did I do? What What did I do? There it is. What did I do? <laughs> you know, the eternal question every guy asks when he's sleeping on the couch. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about the inspiration for the songs you're singing. Uh, some of the songs I've been writing and singing about are kind of based on life experiences. Usually, you know, like getting stood up or being in the doghouse or something along those lines, you know. Things everybody can relate to, you know, getting sent to the couch. <laughs> so that, that gives a good emotion when you're singing. Yeah, I try to, try to base it off of myself and people around me and you know, things like that, so. What got you this uh, next one's a new one that I broke out at the last show. It's called Tonight. Uh, it's basically about being the one that gets stood up all the time. <laughs> Sitting on the front porch watching the sun go down Our stars come out and light up this town I'm sitting here wondering where you are tonight, tonight I'm waiting here for you tonight Tonight, I'm waiting here for you tonight. The clock keeps spinning and time just waits away. I got nothing, no nothing left to say I'm sitting here wondering where you are tonight, tonight I'm waiting here for you tonight, tonight I'm waiting here for you tonight You broke my heart one too many times And the pieces just float away I'm sitting here wondering where you are tonight, tonight I'm waiting here for you tonight, tonight Waiting here for you tonight I'm sitting here Wondering where you are tonight Tonight I'm waiting here for you tonight Tonight I'm waiting here for you 
tonight I'm waiting here for you going in the industry? Uh, I've been playing guitar for quite a while. Um, a few years ago I started dabbling with songwriting and then uh, I lost some family and went on and kind of thought about it and you know why not give it a shot and see what, see what happens instead of just staying at home and playing by myself. Start hitting open mics and playing for opening slots here and there and just give it a try see what happens. I mean, you never know, right? <laughs> it's always good when it happens. Though. Yeah, it's always fun. So that's the main thing. It's always been fun. So it hasn't felt like work. Uh, this next one is a little slower. It's uh, kind of remembering somebody that you lost. Uh, it's a whole story, but I'll keep it short. <laughs> This one's called This Old House. The sun's going down. I won't scare. I stagger home the best I can. Since you're gone, this old house ain't on. Since you're gone, this old house ain't a home. Every night I lay awake, I stare off into the dark. Since you're gone, this old house ain't a home. Since you're gone, this old house ain't on. It ain't right to see a ghost. Every time I start to miss you, since you're gone, this old house ain't on. Since you're gone, this old house ain't on. It's been six years since you laid to rest. I still miss you, I must confess. Since you're gone, this old house ain't Since you're gone, this old house ain't on. Since you're gone, this old house ain't on. Awesome. All right. <laughs> Keep it going, everybody, for Kevin Frey. <laughs> awesome. Good stuff. I, we're going to get uh, Jason up here right away to uh, sound check for us. Uh, the judges are going to be looking for a bunch of different things today. They're going to be uh, looking at songwriting ability, creativity, and originality, and things like that. They're going to be looking at vocal ability, musicianship. As you see, all three of these guys are great guitar players as well as great singers, and they're great songwriters as well. And they're looking for that total package. They want to find the next great star. We want to see who's going to be the next one out there on, on CMT and at country radio and things like that. Uh, so they're going to have a very tough decision to make a little bit later. Two contestants down, one more to go. We'll let Jason get all tuned up. Influence as far as who inspires me? Yeah, who inspires you? All right, well, uh, early in life it was, of course, Johnny Cash and uh, 
and Waylon Jennings and all those olders, George Jones for sure, all stuff that my parents listened to for sure. So that uh, that got to me. Um, Mid 90s was where I listened to mostly country music. So you had the likes of Garth Brooks and Tim McGraw and that type of stuff. Uh, lately, Eric Church, huge, huge fan. Jason Aldean, huge fan. Uh, some Luke Bryan, Blake Shelton. So you know the the top the top guys for sure. Yeah, a lot of a lot of good stuff there. <laughs> All right, we're ready to go. Two contestants down, our third one to go. Uh, again, we kind of give you an idea what the judges are looking for here, and it's going to be songwriting, and it's going to be about the vocal ability, and it's going to be about the guitar playing and things like that, and then the total package. Who's the next great big star? And it might be this guy right here, uh, the most local of our three contestants from the Innisfail area. I uh, just recently actually won the, uh, the Idol competition at the Mickey, right? Saw that, so he's been uh, really busy on the talent show circuit, as it were. And he's hoping to be the big winner here with our CKFM uh, star search. Please make him feel welcome, folks. Jason Ross. Thank you very much. I forget what I was going to do. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that happened before. Um, this one's kind of fun. I'll start it off. It's... Uh, it's one you can join in on. I'll give you the, the title of the song. is called Someday Somehow. So at some point near the end of the, the song, if you feel like it, sing along. It's just someday somehow. Something like that. Have fun. It is kind of a sad song, though. Or not. There's at least a million songs out there About those broken-hearted fools Who are all torn up about someone they lost Don't know what to do well, Let me tell you, darling You know that I ain't much like that For you head out that door Here's a plain and simple fact, oh Someday, somehow well, I might get over you Not today, not now But I swear someday it's true I'll stop thinking about you I'll stop crying all night long I'll stop dreaming about you Stop singing these real sad songs Like someday, somehow No, I'm not like that at all Just listen to your radio for a while See just what I mean Seems like every second song out there Is about some love that couldn't be well, I'm just tired of it, baby I don't want to do this anymore Before you head out that door You ought to know Someday, somehow Well, I might get over you not today, not now, but I swear someday it's true. I'll stop thinking about you. I'll stop crying all night long. I'll stop dreaming about you. Stop singing these real sad songs like someday, somehow. Here we go, ready? Someday, somehow. You got it. Someday, somehow. Someday, somehow. When the wind stops blowing, when the creek stops flowing, when the trees stop growing, oh, I forgot a line. When the sun stops burning, when the wind stops blowing, I'm pretty sure that I might be in love with you someday, somehow. Well, I might get over you, not today, not now, but I swear someday it's true. I stop thinking about you. I stop crying all night long. I stop singing about you. Stop singing this real sad song like Second Day Somehow. I don't know, something like that anyway. Yeah. What's your big influence when you write music? When I write music, uh, personal stories, personal events from life that for the most part, have, have happened to me, uh, you know, uh, from losses of people to gaining people to changes in careers to 
you name it, everything that happens to a person kind of develops who they are as a, as a person ultimately and that's kind of where most of my writing takes, takes me. Yeah. I, I think the people that know me and that are part of the stories, they're, they're definitely, you know, they understand and they, they're touched by those events and they know what's, what the song's really about. Um, getting those messages across to people I don't know, it's, it's nice when they, you know, have a connection and, and, uh, and can relate to the story that I'm telling. But on the other hand, um, really most of what I write primarily has been for myself and for, you know, those closest to me. And, and they share that and, and people love it, then that's, that's great, but yeah. I need more capos. I don't know, I just only one. Anybody here who's seen me play and you know, look at the 12 string, I play with a lot of capos. I had to stop and buy one today. Just cuz. Retune my guitars a thousand times. So this one's a story. My mom used to have this 1972 Datsun station wagon, rust blue. And uh, I used to drive it around and had a, I was 16 or 17 at the time, so this one's kind of about my first girlfriend. <laughs> it's called On the Radio. It'd be cool to get this on the radio. All around this town on Saturday nights I was looking for some kind of fun to be had But not knowing where to go I'd just park in that field and turn up the radio Do you remember the words of that song you used to lie Every time it came on could sit back and watch you smile I was looking for some kind of reason to stare at you and try to let you know I was falling in love never wanted to let you go and you kept turning it on turning it up girl you know you sure did shine you kept turning it on turning me up making me feel so loud we were Dancing so slow, just letting it flow Listening to our favorite songs on the radio I'm sure you remember the day that it all just fell apart Both of us met as hell and breaking each other's hearts I was trying to blame one another for all of those things we didn't know. I just got in that car, turned up the radio. And I kept turning it on, turning it up. Girl, I know I made you cry. But you kept turning me down, turning me out. Whenever I apologized, I was feeling so sad, just being so mad. All I wanted was to hide. And now I'm singing my own songs I'm Gonna make right all those wrongs If I could have just one small wish It's that you're turning it on, turning it up Thank you very much. Introduction of how you would introduce yourself in, in 31 seconds. <laughs> That's impossible to do. Uh, I, I, I'm not a very talkative person. This is the, probably the most I'm going to talk all day. So, um, yeah, uh, really, I, I hope people like what I do and, and uh, take some value from it or, or they don't like it and find something that they do. So, thank you very much. That's it.
They got to go to the, the Fox for that. Uh, so my last piece, I've done it a few times. Um, had a younger brother up until a few years ago who did something silly and uh, got in an accident he didn't walk away with. Uh, he was a pretty cool guy. A ton of people in Innisfil and Caroline and all. heck, Steve at uh, the qualifier for this came up. Yeah, I knew your brother. We've been down to Coeur d'Alene and the Border Patrol. Yeah, I knew your brother. So it's, it's pretty cool that, uh, that he made such an impact on so many lives. And so this song is kind of written as a tribute to that and, and kind of the impact that I hope to, to someday make, mostly for the people that I know right now. But if you guys enjoy it too and, and think of it, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy it. It's called Like Franklin Wayne, which was my younger brother's name. A little loud. That's better. Thank you. was pushing six foot four. It's not his hat that made him big though. It's the way he lived this life. Always did just what he wanted. Did his best each day gone by. He had arms and legs of iron and a heart that never knew a single fear. Kept him marching through the Yukon, breaking trail and chasing tail for 16 years. I wanna live my life that way. I wanna live like Frankie Glen Way. Yeah, that old green truck and rumble. Every summer we came home We just buy a box of 12 gauge Head on up that old back road We get stuck out there in all that mud Both laughing till we cry The only time that I've cried harder Was the night Frankie died. Just him and me and whiskey. <laughs> Just him and me and whiskey. Laughing hard with sharing tales and shooting clay. Then I'd tell that boy I loved him. And we'd head out in the life by separate ways. I want to leave. I wanna live like Franklin Way. No one's gonna tell me what to do. No one's gonna say I can't go. Hell no. Just gonna play this old guitar and sing. See which way these new trains go.
I want to live my life that way I'm going to live like Franklin Way I'm going to live my life on change Just like Franklin Way Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, everybody, keep it going. Jason Ross. What do you say? Steve Newsom and Kevin Frey. Making it really tough on the judges. Our judges are going to go deliberate right now, talk things over, and in a moment, we're going to announce the 2015 CKFM Star Search Grand Finale Champion. Oh my God, uh, there we go. We got a level. All right, everybody, what did you think of our three contestants? <laughs> Kevin Frey, Steve Newsom, Jason Ross. Fantastic. Great performances. Uh, once again, judges had a really tough decision and had to pick a winner uh, to go off to um, Evergreen Studios in Calgary, one of the best uh, recording studios in Canada, but nominated for CCMAs for Recording Studio of the Year. They do some fantastic work. You've heard their work on CKFM most recently with Corey Norman's uh, This Town on a Friday. They do uh, a really great job. So the winner uh, this afternoon is going to go to Evergreen, record their song, and then we're going to play it on CKFM. So it's a really great prize. You talk to anybody in the music industry, and they'll tell you the toughest thing about the business is trying to find the money to get into studio and uh, record your projects. So uh, that's what we're providing in this contest. So again, our three contestants, the judges were uh, kind of having a look and uh, going over a bunch of things. Vocal ability, they talked about musicianship and songwriting, creativeness, and again, who's got the, uh, the star potential. We have three really great judges. We want to thank them and uh, remind the contestants that they can talk to the judges afterwards. Some great advice that they can pick up. Uh, from Olds, a uh, longtime member of the Poverty Plainsman of Joe Hick, nominated for uh, multiple CCMAs, Don George Jorgensen, here to help us out today. CCMA nominee, I think a Juno nominee. Did you win the Juno? No, you just nominated for the Juno alongside Jim Cuddy, and then she started stalking Jim Cuddy when she lost to him. But uh, wrote Pickup Truck for Shane Yellowbird, uh, co-wrote uh, Secondhand Car for the Higgins, and is probably one of the most in-demand songwriters in Canada today, Miss Joni Delorier, helping us out. Thank you so much, my dear. And our longtime uh, programmer at CKFM and Rock 104, one of the most knowledgeable radio programmers you're ever going to meet, Brian Stevenson here to help us out. And of course, the CKFM Breakfast Show. We've got all our fans in here for the Breakfast Show. So without further ado, folks, our winner of the CKFM Star Search 2015 is Jason Ross. Come on up, Jay. Again, Jason's going to go off to uh, to studio in Calgary, get to record his song, whatever he wants, and uh, we're going to play it on CKFM. Do you want to do some uh, some thank yous, whatever? Um, Give you my mic. Buddy. Wow! Thank you, thank you, thank you, very, very much. That's I totally didn't expect it. Um, wow! Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I pl I play for fun, and 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 that's kind of my philosophy. And my music is just play and have fun. And when I'm having fun, good things happen. So today has been an exceptionally fun day so far. <laughs> thank you very, very much. Uh, thanks everybody who came out from Innisfail and, and around to, to watch and listen and, and your support, your, your friendship, and uh, thanks for listening. That's about all I got. Thanks. And thank you, Corey. Yeah, absolutely. We're looking forward to getting his song on CKFM really soon, so keep it locked on 96.5 CKFM, and of course we'll have that song as soon as it becomes available. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. We appreciate it. Uh, lots of entertainment to come here tomorrow. If you want to come back, the Fiddler's Jamboree is going to be on the stage and ready to go. Uh, that's going to do it for today, so we'll see you for next year's 2016 CKFM Star Search. Yeah,